Today would be a great day to make chicken enchiladas with verde sauce. Let's get started on our sauce. Today we're going to be using fresh onion, tomatillos, garlic, and you're only going to use two cloves, one whole jalapeno, and we're going to start with the tomatillos. Now when you get them at the grocery store, they're going to be uh, wrapped in this nice little paper-like coating. You just want to pull all of that off. And then when you get it off, you're going to notice that your fingers are really tacky. You really need to give these things a good wash. And then we're going to chop these up just into big O chunks, and I've already gotten started. And so you're going to use about six tomatillos. And if you cut them in two and take a look, they kind of look like green tomatoes on the inside. Next, we're gonna chop our onion, and again, you just need some big chunks. We're gonna make this into our sauce, so we'll puree it later. Now, you only need two cloves of garlic, and remember, the best way to get them out of the paper is just to give them a good whack. Now, sometimes when you take them out of the paper, they look a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna get rid of this one, and we'll whack another one. But you're gonna need two cloves of garlic total. And then we're gonna work with your jalapeno. Now, you have a choice here. If you like things really, really spicy, leave the seeds in. I'm not crazy about things just setting me on fire, so I'm gonna slice this in half, and I'm just going to scrape those seeds out of the inside. Those seeds and those membranes is where you're gonna find the capsaicin. That's where the heat's gonna be coming from. So we're just gonna get rid of that. And again, we're just going to do a really rough chop and add this to our ingredients so that we can get started making our sauce. Okay, on my stove, I've put my big pot and I'm going to add a cup of chicken broth. This is going to help to make the sauce nice and rich. And I'm just going to add my veggies just right in. Now, what I want to do is make sure that these are covered with liquid. So they're not yet. So I'm gonna add just enough water so that these are covered because I'm going to boil these vegetables down to make a very rich sauce. I've gone ahead and got out my cast iron skillet and while the veggies are simmering, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the chicken. Now I want my skillet to get hot, so go ahead and turn the fire on. And I'm gonna use avocado oil. It can get to higher temperatures, and again, it's not gonna add flavor, but it'll keep my chicken from sticking too much. And I want this to get hot. When I put my chicken in, I wanna hear it sizzle. My skillet is hot, so I am ready to start preparing this chicken. Now you can use chicken breast. I'm using chicken tenders today. They tend to cook very quickly and they're easy to shred. And I'm just gonna drop those right into the hot skillet. Now I'm gonna add a little seasoning. In here I have a half teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a half teaspoon of cumin, and a half teaspoon of paprika. And I'm just gonna mix it about. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top of the chicken. Just give it a good generous coating. Remember we are gonna flip this over and we'll put some on the other side as well. And you're just gonna let it cook. It really doesn't take these tenders very long, so you wanna keep an eye on them. These have been cooking a couple minutes, so we're going to check and see if they're ready to flip over. These are pretty thin, so it's not gonna take them real long. But you just wanna flip them over and let them start cooking on the other side as well. And you want to sprinkle this side with a mixture of seasonings as well. My tenders weren't quite thawed, so I'm going to cover them up with the lid, and that will help them cook a little bit quicker. In the meantime, our veggies have been boiling, and I'll let them boil about 10 minutes. 
My chicken is done and I'm just gonna take it out of the pan and I'm gonna let it rest while I prepare the rest of my sauce. I've placed a strainer inside another bowl and I'm just going to strain my vegetables, but I don't wanna lose that wonderful liquid. I want to save it, I'll need it later. So let's go ahead and just strain these. The vegetable broth has wonderful flavor, so we definitely want to use it in our sauce. Okay, now we're ready to finish putting our sauce together. I've got my vegetables that I've drained. I've got my reserved liquid, but I also have my wonderful blender. This is gonna make your life easier. And I'm just going to dump my strained vegetables straight into my blender. Next, I'm gonna add cilantro. This is fresh cilantro. You can use as much as you want. My family likes a lot, so this is about three tablespoons if I were to chop it, but I'm just gonna give it a rough chop and put it in the blender because it is gonna get mixed up pretty well while it's in there. Then I'm gonna add a half a cup of cream. This is gonna be a very luscious sauce. So we're gonna add that cream just right in there. And I'm going to put on the lid and I'm just going to pulse it and just mix and chop all this stuff up really well. Now that that is chopped up, I'm going to go ahead and add between a quarter and a half a cup of my reserve liquid. This is just gonna loosen it up a little bit more. If you like a thicker sauce, don't add quite as much of the reserve liquid, but I like enough sauce to kind of run all over the top of my enchiladas and maybe have a little bit left over for dipping. So I like to make a little bit of a runny sauce. Now we wanna finish this soft sauce. So it back in the pot that I cooked in, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil down in the bottom and I'm gonna let it get hot. My pot is hot, so I'm gonna take my blended liquid and I'm gonna pour it in. And you should hear it sizzle. If your pot is hot enough, then it's definitely gonna make that wonderful sound. And I just wanna heat this sauce all the way through. I want it nice and warm for my next step. At this point, you wanna give it a little taste because you wanna add salt and pepper, but you don't wanna to get too much. Now I'm not measuring, but if I were gonna add pepper, it'd be about a quarter of a teaspoon, but I am gonna add a good bit of salt. I want a, a couple really good pinches because there hasn't been any seasoning added to this sauce yet. Okay, I've turned the heat off on my sauce and my chicken is rested. So now it's time to pull it apart. And really, you just wanna shred it. And you can use a couple forks and just rake it off. If you like chunks, that's great. But I find for enchiladas, just shredding it into nice little tiny pieces makes the filling much more pleasing. And once you get it shredded, then we're ready to start mixing up the rest of our ingredients for this wonderful filling. I'm gonna put my shredded chicken into a bowl and then I'm gonna take two ounces of cream cheese and I'm gonna put this in the microwave and melt it about 25 seconds. I want it nice and gloopy because I'm going to be mixing it into my chicken mixture. And just give it a good mix. and it will start to take on a creamy look. And then I'm gonna add some of the tomatilla sauce, the verde sauce. And this sauce, you wanna make sure it's still nice and hot. I just poured it into my measuring cup straight out of the hot pan. And you're just gonna mix it about, and that's gonna give this chicken even more flavor. But make sure that you reserve some of the sauce for the top. Now we are ready to put these enchiladas together. To wrap these up, you need some flour tortillas, your favorite Mexican blend cheese, or we're gonna be using Monterey Jack. This Monterey Jack is really soft, so take your time while you're grating it. Now, you wanna grate about a cup, cup and a half of cheese. If you love cheese like my family, you may want to grate a little bit more. So now let's put these things together. We're gonna to be baking these, so you wanna spray your pan with a little bit of nonstick coating. And then it's just simply putting things together. You wanna to take a flour tortilla, be sure to load it up with a generous portion of chicken. As I mentioned, my family absolutely loves cheese. So on top of this chicken mixture, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Monterey Jack. And I'm also gonna put that Monterey Jack on the top 
You want to roll these up and then place them in your pan. I've rolled up all of our enchiladas and now we're going to add the final topping. You want to take the green tomatilla sauce that you reserved and just pour it generously over the top. And to finish it off, you want to top it with your shredded cheese. When you have it all together, you're going to place this in a 375 degree oven for 20 minutes. And you'll know that it's done because you'll start to see the edges turning lightly golden brown and your cheese will be bubbly. Now, the first time that you make this recipe, you may think that it's a little bit fiddly and a lot of things to keep up with, but it really is quite a simple process. You just have to get your things lined up, get them organized, get them ready to go and you'll have a delicious meal when you're done. I serve this with a simple salad with avocado, sour cream, and pico de gallo. And again, this makes a fantastic lunch the day after. Now this recipe is another recipe that I got from my son. When he went on his keto diet, I really thought that he was gonna be so limited in what he could eat. But the recipes that he has shared with us have been absolutely amazing and I hope you enjoyed this one too. And just for today, Mum's brown dinner is green. I really want to say thank you to my family and friends that encouraged me to make these videos. I'm not great at it at all. They're, they're terrible, but the recipes are good and I enjoy cooking and, and this has given me a new kind of confidence that I just didn't have in myself before. If there's something that you would like to see me make, um, just let me know because I love to cook and I especially love to cook for you. Thank you guys. If you like this recipe and you would like these videos to continue, remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks guys.